Hey guys, doing the video for the uh, 19th of July, and uh, by the way, if you're coming onto this, if you're seeing these videos, and you're like, why, where's all the, like, Nicaragua, like, detailed stuff? This is my vlog channel, and I know it's super confusing, because this one's Scott Allen Miller, and the one for Nicaragua, Scott Allen Miller vlog, that makes no sense. Sorry, can't help you. Once Nicaragua, once, once Nicaragua, once YouTube makes that, like, tied in it is what it is so they're not where you think they are and it's way too late to change it now so when you see these videos this is just me vlogging that's it it's scott l miller's living in nicaragua with all that this is just me talking about my day so if this isn't what you're looking for wrong spot if that is what you want welcome and by the way if you haven't subscribed yet it would really help me if you could because the only thing stopping us from monetizing this channel is the number of subscribers and we only need 90 more at the time i'm making this video so it's the only thing we need. Like, when we say like and subscribe, this time it really matters. Uh, and we've gotten a few. So, like, we could do this in a week if we try. Anyway, so it is, uh, it's Saturday. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's Friday, actually. And we are in uh, Managua for the day. Now, this did not go as planned. The idea was we were going to get in and do a whole bunch of filming. And it just didn't work. Um, so, so last night was the Vigilia. So you stay up all night, you party in Leon. That was super fun. We had a great time. That was super successful. And I'm going to be bringing out a video in the next few days for my Life in Nicaragua channel that shows that right here. Where I don't show stuff. Like, I just, I don't, if I start doing that, it's just duplicating the other channel. Then we get in this spiral of disaster. So <clears throat> that is. Uh, that was some really cool stuff, and the hope was to go and see a bunch of stuff in Managua, because last year we did the, the 19th in Managua, which is Revolution Day, and it was so much fun. We had such a good time. It was great. Um, this year, uh, we got there, and uh, Marcella got there ahead of us. She was there all day. She went first thing in the morning. Dominic and I and the kids went uh, this afternoon. So, well, I mean, so we all went to, to the outskirts of Managua together. Like, during the morning, I should recap, right? <laughs> during the morning, I had to get work done. We had cleaning. We had all kinds of just stuff, right? It's the weekend. It's, it's Friday. So I had some actual meetings and stuff. It's, it's hard to keep track when there's a holiday weekend, right? It, it all falls apart. And then I'm so busy that I'm behind on the show. So I had, like, work stuff to do. We couldn't leave until about 2, and then, of course, no one was ready. So we left a little bit before 3, Got out. Uh, by the way, what, what's the the comments on the on the orange uh, uh, orange cat wearing a fox costume? No. Orange dog wearing an or no, no no brown dog wearing an orange cat costume. Anyway, that's that'll be coming up in in a future episode. Um, and uh, uh, so we had all this stuff. We couldn't leave until about that time. So then we drove in. The drive was fine. We dropped off Marcella at her house, and then we went on. Basically, to just get dinner. We went straight to Pane Vino, had dinner. That, of course, took a few hours. While we were still at Pane Vino, Marcella had already gone to the, the Revolution events. This is how long it takes, right? We tried to leave it too. We had the whole day for the family to get ready. They weren't until close to three. And so by the time we got out of here mid-afternoon, got to Managua, dropped off Marcella. That took maybe 10 minutes tops. Then we got to Pane Vino and had dinner early. By the time we were done eating dinner, already Marcella had gone down to the Plaza Nicaragua, already seen Daniel Ortega arrive at the event, already filmed a little bit of stuff. Everything happened and was over while we were still having dinner. We hadn't made it to our hotel yet. We're like, what happened? Like, this is this is Nicaragua. We're supposed to go all night. They're like, we don't know. Just like, that was it. That's all the event that there was. It's done. And we're like, Are, what? So that was the whole thing. We ended up not being able to film anything. And I was like, but we came to Managua for this. Now, luckily, the kids had not come for that. The kids came because they like going out to eat. They like staying in a hotel. Like, it was cool. So we came and did that stuff um, and for them, and then that worked out. So they really enjoyed dinner. We had a nice leisurely dinner at Pane Vino. At that point, we didn't have to rush out. We could just get dessert and hang out because we already missed everything. So Marcelo was going to tell us where people were later. So we did that, and then we went up to the Double Tree, which is very close, just right up the street. Uh, dropped off the kids at the Double Tree. dropped off all of our stuff freshened up, used the bathroom, did like all those things, uh, and then left the kids at the double tree and headed out by taxi so that we could go out and party uh, to Ron Concolis in Altamira. Uh, met up with um, a bunch of people and uh, friends like Asel and her boyfriend, her daughter was there, uh, Marcella and some friends, and uh, ended up running into 
Milton Vlogs, who is like the biggest TikToker in the country, just happened to be there. So we actually met up, took some pictures, and got to hang out. That was really cool, uh, getting to meet him. We've been trying to like meet up for a year or so, um, and uh, it, it was just cool that we were able to run into each other. He's fantastic, and, and it was really cool meeting them. Uh, and then from there, we headed out. We tried going uh, to Central America, Plaza Central America, to go dancing there. But like Euphoria, The Reef, um, Cachoal, places like that, they are so expensive. And there was like no one there. That It's a beautiful venue-ish. It's weird. It really is. If you don't mind spending the money and you want to like check out a weird take on, on Nicaragua, uh, The Reef and all of its stuff at Plaza Central America is interesting. But ultimately, I never like going there. Uh, we've only done it a few times, and every time we're like, eh, it's okay. It's nice venues, but the prices are ridiculous. Uh, it's like three times the normal price of a drink. Or if you want to go to the reef and sit outside, it's $150 per table. What? No. I mean, I'm sure the tables can hold like 10 people, but... What? Who's paying $150 for a table in Nicaragua overlooking the highway? It's literally a view of the Carretera Messiah downtown. Who cares? Like, it's stupid. Um, so we had one drink and left there, and we're disappointed as always. And it's an awkward space to go out at night, too. Like, it's hard to move from place to place. It's all weird. Um, I do know some people who've gone out there. Some people enjoy it, but there was a reason that it was empty. All right, so we went to Los Robles where it wasn't busy, but it wasn't dead like like Central America um, and hung out at, um, at Empire, which is a pretty decent place. They have really neat styling. The, the music selection there is not my taste, but we had a good night. It's a good place to hang out um, and, and just dance and, and be able to sit and have drinks and, and hang out with friends. Uh, and you're right on the street, so you're in the middle of things. If you need to move to another place, it's easy. I don't like going to Patron because it's way too loud and just... It's nuts, but not in like a positive way. And Gara that we've been going to for forever has been replaced by Break or The Break. I'm not sure. Uh, so I have no idea if it's better, worse, the same. Um, but Gara is no longer there. So I've been sending people to Gara as like our place to go out uh, in Los Robles for years. And it is now gone, which is kind of sad. Um, even if it is the same place, I don't know. Um, but that was, uh, so that was our night. So we only stayed out. Um, until like midnight, like we weren't out super late, uh, and then we went back, and the kids had a nice evening, they're like, yeah, we like just chilling in the hotel, they know they got good internet, Chana knows how to hook up to the Hilton Honors uh, Wi-Fi, just like that, she has it the instant they get in, they let, they each take over one of the beds, they have comfy beds, they like the space, they, they have authorization to go down and shop in the Hilton store, so they can go get chips or drinks or whatever, they've got water in the room, um, they have anything they need. Plus, there's restaurants downstairs that they really need to. They can do room service. So they can go down to the restaurants. There's a sushi place. There's a regular restaurant. And then there's a bar where they can go get, like, you know, mocktails or whatever. Um, and then we wouldn't expect them to go swimming, but there is a pool. So, like, and it's, you know, a lot of security. It's the Hilton. Uh, so, so, like, they enjoy being there. It's just very casual for them. Um, but it's a change of pace because when they're at home, they often are in their room doing their own thing and being able to stay in a hotel is just fun when they're not being rushed. And we're almost always being rushed. So this is a really nice just chance for them to enjoy being in a hotel and know that they don't have to get up first thing in the morning either. So tomorrow we have a leisurely morning plan so that they can enjoy that. We do plan to be back to Managua sometime pretty soon uh, just because... You know, the kids, re we all really enjoy being in Managua, and we've just been so busy. There's been so much stuff that's made it hard for a while. We need to put in several days, um, and I need to do a lot of filming. I need a chance to just spend time in Managua and not have to deal with leaving the next day, because I spend so much time getting into and out of Managua, I never get real filming time. Now, I did get a little bit t uh, tomorrow, but nothing today. Like, we lost today. That was worthless. Uh, so that was that was depressing, um, but but tomorrow I'll get a little bit. But I really need like real time in Managua uh, to pull off some some much more serious filming, um, and for the kids to really get to enjoy going to more restaurants and getting a chance to explore and stuff. Because what we do is we tend to go to Pane Vino, we go to Cajun, um, we go to Barrio Cafe, we go to uh, Molinos. They have a list of places that they really like to go, and we don't go often enough 
that we're not looking forward to going to those places. I do have to add, Panay Vino tonight was not good. Now, we know it was like their third string staff because of the holiday, so we're, we're overlooking it, but they really phoned it in. We got an antipasto, that was really good, but it's also very simple. And we're like, we think this is the prep cooks, the ones who make the antipasto, so they were really good at that. But like, they screwed up the pasta. My pasta was basically soup. Um, it tasted okay, but it was not correct. Um, Liesl liked hers because it's a little bit easier for her to eat. Chana's was overcooked to the point of being kind of bad. Like she had ravioli that was cooked into a mush, an actual mush. Um, and then Dominica's was okay. But overall, we were like, oh, this is not their standard at all. But we've been, gone to them a lot, never had a bad meal. So that this one happened, luckily we have a good track record and we're not going to be like, we're not going there anymore. Uh, but as people might, and Dominica was like, if I didn't know better, I would never come back. Like this was not good, uh, but the prices there are pretty good. So, so that was, but needless to say, we have this problem where we never get past eating at the places that we know we like. So we never move on from that. And it would be nice to spend some time in Managua, do those things and then say, ah, we got two or three more days. Let's you know, go check out new restaurants that we've never been to uh, and see what there is, try out different flavors and stuff. Because there are lots of interesting restaurants around the city, but we never want to waste our meals on them because we want to know we're getting stuff we really like. But that's why our number one thing in Leon is the lack of food variety. Literally, that's our number one complaint. And so if we can add in time in Managua, that will solve a lot. But being in Managua tends to be pretty expensive, even though it's cheaper than going to a hotel in the U.S., it's not cheap, right? The the Hilton is about 100 and I think we pay about 106 uh, with our with our Hilton discount. And of course, we're getting points as well. So we're, we're very happy with that. Like we're not complaining about the price, but it does mean that going to Managua takes a little bit of commitment. But we're going to address that a little bit tomorrow. So check out tomorrow's update for more information about that because I'm two days behind. I know what's coming tomorrow. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later.